Hello everybody and welcome to another week's Beach Coming with Ralph and Bone Man. Got some lovely flint for you this week. Lots of unidentifiable bone and a couple of beautiful identifiables. Lovely bit of fossil wood with a mysterious pattern inside. Looking forward to that. And we're going to take you on a little trip to a special crystal cave. Buckle up and let's get into it. Nice shape, isn't it? Look at this. Even nicer when I picked it up. I can believe it. Look at that. Look. It's got that handle like before, isn't it? Like something like that. With a bit missing there, so it's comfortable right there. Look. That's what I reckon. Slicing something open, I reckon that's for. The lovely bit of flint. Looks grey as well. Lush, look at that. This is interesting. You look that side and you say, yeah, definitely bone, isn't it? But then turn it over and you think, oh, no, that looks like sandstone. But we've got a conglomerate here. Because that is definitely bone, and I reckon that's like face bone, I do. I've got a feeling I can see some shape in there, like trabecular. So, uh, and that looks like an artery, or oh, possibly, the markings here. It's a lovely bit of bone. Beautiful, that is. It's going to be interesting when we can see it properly. Lovely. Also, just while I'm there, lovely bit of fossil wood. Look at this. That's an interesting pattern on there, I've just seen. Are we looking at an imprint of a fossil lechnoid? Or is my mind playing tricks with me? Wow, well, that's even, I didn't even see that when I picked it up. I just thought that's a nice bit of wood, but look at that. That looks too regular, doesn't it? Too biological. It may just be luck, of course. We'll find out. So I've got tiny, another little bit of tiny bone. And <laughs> quite a funny shaped bit of bone there. Lovely. Is that a flake? <coughs> nope. Nope, not like it. Look, no, some look, lovely couple of bits of bone, look, chunks. Chunky bone, chunky bone, chink, not chink, chunk, chinky chunk bone. Uh, lovely. Lovely. Jelly deals, occasionally nearly bumping into seals. Oh, for God's sake! Okay, today got some amazing pictures from a quarry in Wales. I expect a lot of you have been wondering what David Thomas has been up to in Wales. Obviously, David, a good friend of the channel, and uh, we're going to now show you some pictures of what he's been up to. Oh, there's a cave, there's a cave, cave. Hello, David. You are? Right? Why? Oh, don't publish the videos. Oops. Well, I hope you like the rest of it, mate. Look at these stunning photos. So check these amazing pictures out. Apparently uh, this uh, is a disused quarry now, closed I think he said in 1986 or something. And uh, he's been looking for this uh, crystal cave for ages and he's eventually found it. It's absolutely stunning. We've got some amazing geology in Britain. Well, in the UK. Straight out of a little fantasy film. A 
Really appreciate you sharing these with us, David. Thank you very much. And there's some he took home from the gift shop. Uh, i tell you what, Terry, he's going to get you run for the money on size of tool. Obviously, yours is shinier, as I said before. <laughs> Looks like we've got a competition. Who's got the nicest tool? Thanks, David. Bonio, wherefore art thou, Bonio? Bonio, Bonio, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, Tuskio, is it? Tuskio, I thought it was Bonio, Bonio, but I hit, I started, is it? Oh. Hang on a minute. Oh, is it? Hang on, is it? Please, come on. Go on, me, please. Please be tusky, please be tusky. My eyes have gone all shaky. Hang on a minute, hang on. I've got to just take it out. God, I think it's tusky. Oh my God, I'm going to have to wait till I get it home to find out for sure. You get! God, I just have great eyes, I... It's mental, isn't it? I will not be defeated by age. Come on, that is... That's got to be... Hang on, one more last close-up with that end. Look, it's got lines there. That might just be a bit of wood. Oh, I'll be gutted if it's wood. I will be absolutely heartbroken if it's wood. I will not be a happy bunny. It won't be a bunny at all, it's not be a hand. What do you reckon to this? What's, what's in this like? It's kind of like beat, not one fine. Look at that. Do we think that's nice? It can't not be, can it? It can't be a giant bit of stuck underneath it, can there, really? Can there? I can't see. I'll pick it up, brother. For God's sake, pick it up, you idiot. Savouring the moment. Mouth. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. And the funny thing is, is like, I was just thinking, I've found quite a lot of hand axes. I haven't shown them all, but like, I was thinking to myself, you know what? I haven't had a nice hand axe for a while with some really nice work on it. Now, this. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at it, just look at it, with the cortex left there, this is stunning. Look at the work on the back there, you can see, look at all the work look, with the shine light, look. Needs a nice wash up, and have a proper look at it, but this looks very nice. And I'll tell you what, I'll be able to go, I'm happy with that. Wow, you're sharp, look at that edge, look at that edge. Wow. There's no... Arguments there, is there? That is absolutely look at the shape of it, beautiful. Anyway, um, I just wanted to take a moment of silence for a good friend of mine, a brown crab. I think it was originally from Sea Paul. And I know it's a cliche, no one's ever been a bad person when they eventually die, have they? I'm not joking, he'd give you the coat off his back, you would. Quite. I think it's, I can't believe it's another piece of tusk, I think. Loving how much tusk. Looked like sandstone at first, but, but it's not. And you can see it's marrow. Lovely, lovely barry. Marrow low. Beautiful. A little dried up bone. It's been a build up of a sandbank further out, and all the waves are breaking further out. And I believe there's lots of loads of stuff coming up this week, in my opinion. So I hope the wind's not too much. So, a little bit of bone, unidentifiable. Another nice little bit of unidentifiable bone.
very dried up, bleached, unidentifiable piece of bone. Very rich piece of berry marrow low. Look at the detail in that. Beautiful. Then we've got a little bit of tusk. Just see inside there, a little enlightened. Beautiful, lovely bit of tusk. Now, what have we got here? Now, is that an impression of a flower or a leaf? That's something, isn't it? That's a beautiful piece of fossil wood. Anyone got any ideas what it could be? That is amazing. What on earth is that? Is that foliage? But why would it have dug in like that? What on earth is that? Fascinating. I've so got a message the other day saying um, we really should be doing putting these parts of a lithocyst or something. And I've heard of a lithocyst. I'm guessing he meant an expert on lithics, which is uh, stones worked flint. But um, you can see what that is. Never claimed to be an expert. Just showing it as it is, and you can make your own mind up, can't you? That's what I'm saying. Lovely. Look at that for a conglomerate. And where I was saying about here, look, look. Because that's a trabecular structure. I reckon this is a cheekbone off of something, are you? And it's got all this sandstone in with shiny many bits. And, and there's a good, what I believe to be a blocked up sandstone artery there, though. Artery hold. I've been called artery hold quite a bit. At least I think it was artery hold. Lovely. Well, I'm going to show you a flake that I didn't show you on video because I didn't record it. But look at that. Look at that, David. Look. Look at that. That is stunning. Look at the bulb on this. The ridge there. Look. Bulb scar. Look at them for pronounced ripples, amazing, what a beautiful flake. And then we've got an absolute, and it's not wood, it's an absolute stonking bit of tusk, look at that. Look at the crisscross patterns in there, clear as a bell. You see all the layers, it's a real, real defined piece. Look at the different patina and colours on here. What a beautiful chunk of tusk, eh, Nathan? If I glue all mine together, it might be as thick as the one you got. And here we go. That is beautiful, isn't it? You can see it's flake hand axe this is, isn't it? Literally flake. This is where a giant bulb is here. It's broken off there. I don't know whether that was purposeful. It may have broke when it was banged. But for the lack of work, I say it's flint hand axe to me. Look, cortex left there. Oh, the shape of it, look. That is a stunner. So thanks for joining me, everybody. Still could do with a few more views. But I don't like saying ridiculous stuff on the thumbnails. I'd like to say how it is. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'd hate to have to stop these videos. Beautiful. Over and out.